8.45, there's simply not enough time to list all of our next <laughs> guest's accomplishments, but we're going to throw out just a few of them for you. Here you go. She's recorded a whopping 60 CDs, published 50 books of music, sold 6 million albums, performed with the Minnesota Orchestra. You may know her from her time behind the piano at Dayton's, too. Uh, we are very delighted to welcome Lori Line to Minnesota Live for our favorite segment, Five Facts. <laughs> Hello. Lori, how nice to see you. Thank you for having me. We appreciate you stopping by. It's fun by. because I get to talk. I'm not just going to play the piano. Right? Yeah. right? <laughs> I, I think, uh, people recognize you, but they yes. don't always get to hear from no, you like this. No, you're so. right. Thank you. It's a good forum for that. Yep. And uh, the first fact is quite interesting. Okay. Uh, you're, you're sounds like you're a, a farm girl. I love <laughs> to garden. In fact, we're gardening today. We started planting flowers yesterday. Nice. And we finally can. Yeah, we finally oh my can. Gosh, I know. So we're doing some patience right now, Tim and I. And I think we planted 500 yesterday. Oh my god. We'll goodness. do another 500 today. Oh, yes. you're, and, and you <laughs> look at you. You're, you're mowing the whole property there. Yeah, see that John Deere? I know how to. Uh, it's a zero turn, and <laughs> I learned how to drive. Those it. are really cool. They are cool. I learned how to drive a tractor about eight years ago. And you know, it's so great because it's instant gratification. Yep. It's like and painting. It's like you painting. can see your work. Right, you see it yep. and no one's calling you or bothering you. Yeah. And you're one with nature, with God. It's yep. so awesome. It is a nice moment, I do love to mow. Sure. Yeah. Tell nice. us a little bit about uh, your husband. I love the story of how the two of you met. Tim and I met on an airplane, flying from Las Vegas to Reno, Nevada. And uh, he, I told my mom, I was with my mom on the airplane. I said, I'm, I'm going to marry that guy. Uh, no and, way, really? Yeah, I did. Yep, and he didn't, he didn't get my telephone. There were no cell phones back then. He didn't get my telephone number, didn't call me. And, and I told everybody I'm marrying this guy that I met on the airplane. And four months later, uh, we ran into each other at a local athletic club. No way. Yep. And I said, really? hi, hi, Tim. I said, I met you on the airplane. He said, oh, yeah, hi, Mary. <laughs> and I said, well, my name's not Mary, it's Lori. But, um, and darn it, I didn't make the first impression you don't that know I was this, hoping to make. And, but I'm going to marry you. And, you know, and then six, he asked me out on a date, and we went out on a date, and um, actually then asked me to marry him. And six months later, we got married. Oh, the rest wow, that's and great. then we moved to Minnesota the day after we got married because wow. we were in Reno, Nevada. Yeah. So then I, he worked for Jostens, the class ring company. Yep. And um, so we moved to, uh, to Minnesota because he had a, a job transfer. Yeah. And then I started playing the piano for Dayton's. Oh, wow. Okay. That's how that all went. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's here. cool. Mm -hmm. That's, how, that's that. how we got here. Um, so we, <clears throat> since you brought it up, uh, your yes. piano and your piano playing, um, this was an interesting fact. You use one piano. Yes. Your piano. My piano. If you're a serious pianist, you, you have to play your own instrument. Uh, when I toured initially, of course, she played all the other pianos, right. but they're not in good shape of course. and they're abused and not well kept so we borrowed a piano from the Ordway and I became a Yamaha artist mm -hmm. and they said we have a piano that you can borrow and we never gave it back so I adopted him that's Black Beauty and <laughs> that's his name and we've toured with that piano now for 30 years. And that's got to be quite a logistical process. Yeah, what is that I, like? It is. It's it's uh, it's the hardest part of the, our day. Sure. Because every day is new and different. And the before we even get there, we say, "How is it to get?" Oh, yeah. Look at this one. How is it to get the piano to the stage? This is Matic, North Dakota. This was the most challenging uh, piano move we ever had. But they were so nice. They were farmers, and they built this so that we could get the piano out of my living room right there and to up onto an old opera stage, which was up two flights, two floors. Oh, and wow. you, of course, you can't move. A concert grand that weighs yeah. 1,450 pounds upstairs. So they lifted it up, and uh, it, it was it was really a and, oh it was such a very memorable day. I was going to be very stressful. I mean, yeah, that's some days important piece yeah. of equipment for you. Even yeah. seeing it move, it probably makes you very anxious. Yeah, it, it does. makes me anxious. Seeing but it we've move. done it so many times. We've moved our piano 2,000 times. So oh uh, yeah, we know what we're doing. Part of the deal. It's part of the deal. Do you have to tune it every time you? Yeah, every move time, it? yeah, we have a tuner. So being that I have an endorsement, I, I know all the tuners all across the sure. country. They show up at four o'clock. They just know when I come to town and. We have a, a pretty they good take, thing going. They, they take, take care, care of, of me. Yeah, and they take wow. care of my piano. All right, so you mentioned gardening. I wanted to get back yeah. to this gardening okay. because it's just sinking into my brain right now that you said you planted 500 bulbs yesterday? Not bulbs. Okay. They're, they're sun patients. So they, sun, remember how the yeah. impatience used to be now the new the variety is called sun patients, okay. and they like the sun. Where impatients, they like the shade a yep. little bit. Sun pa oh, those are our tulips. Those are thousands that we did a couple oh years my, ago. That's your property? Yeah, that's our property. Oh, how pretty. So oh we took all those out right there where you just saw that yesterday. Oh. We took the bulbs out. That's what we're doing today. 
that part right there, and that's going to be 500 flowers right there. <laughs> and there's two. We did that one wow. yesterday. That was really fun. We did that, and I did different colors. That was uh, a couple years ago on that. And then we do the pots. Tim oh, does all the pots. Pretty. We do we do palm trees with um, uh, with begonias in them. So it's fun, oh, but it's a labor of love. It's exhausting to, and, and physically exhausting. grueling, like after yes. the hard work yes. like that. Uh, like yeah, like your back sore for oh, a while. My, my head was turned upside down so long yesterday that I feel like my face is slightly swollen today and no. sunburned because we did so much, right. you know. But then again, when you can sit back and you can see all of it, and oh, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's great. my and haven. I wear an aura ring, so it, I have no problem sleeping. It says optimal. I got 94. Oh, you're getting your, you're getting <laughs> yeah, your my computer. Yeah. And, then, and also, um, it says, my exercise, my activity was optimal yesterday. So, Wonderful. you know, it's a, nice. really, it's a good sport. So uh, next fact, in 2015, yes. you were inducted into the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame, and uh, one of them celebrating a birthday today. Uh, so Prince, Judy Garland, and Bob Dylan, who's yes. celebrating a birthday today. That's uh, that, that's pretty big stuff right there. Good yeah. company. Yeah, that, is, that was wonderful. I haven't gotten many awards, but this one is one that I really, really, really love, uh, being in the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame. Have you ever collaborated with any of of them? Nope. I've yeah, always just been just all that. by myself, sure. you know, done my own thing. In fact, um, I'm right now recording my 64th CD, and I worked all winter long putting all my music up on, on Sheet Music Plus and Arrange Me, mm -hmm. and I wanted to see how much I had because I 54 music books, when they go out of print, I don't have the license. I can't keep 54,000 books yeah. right. in my basement, right? right. <laughs> because it's a thousand. Uh, units every time you print it. So I thought, well, I'm just going to download it and see what I have. And sure. I have right now 705 songs oh that I, wow. yeah, I might be the most published pianist in wow. modern day times. And do you still play every day? Yeah, I'm recording. Uh, yeah, well, I, I record Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Where do you find the inspiration for, for new stuff? Maybe? Deadlines and pressure <laughs> and fans that love enough. Uh, they want a new project and yeah. a new book and they have a new idea. And, you know, I like to work. I do. I like to be productive. And so, yeah, those, those 700, I'm back to that, 705 yeah. songs. I've been looking to see who's who. And um, Beethoven was like 1,100, or I'm sorry, Bach was 1,100. Uh, Beethoven is 722. So I'm going to do 14 more and I'll be three, three under Beethoven by the time I get done. But of course, wow. they were, that's they, pretty impressive, well, I would say. But they're composers goal. too. I'm just arranging and composing. Sure. It's a combination. But it shows how much I've, how hard I've worked for uh, That's 30 amazing. Years. <laughs> well, I obviously love it, right? Well, yeah. For sure. How nice to meet you and thanks for stopping Thank by. You. And uh, to your delight. husband for stopping by yeah, as well. So and fun. Thanks for having us. We're out of time so you can get back to your planting. <laughs> <laughs> 500 Thanks. more to go today. Thanks a lot, Chris. <laughs> uh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Lori, thank you again.